It is a really, really exciting day. It is day one, the launch of the Necton mission. And look at it, it is absolutely gorgeous. The Baseline Explorer is packed. Everyone is very, very busy prepping for the first dives. Uh, the waters are crystal clear. There's not a cloud in the sky. But I tell you what, the conditions this morning were a little bit different. 6.30 is meant to be the day we're leaving and woke up with a horrific fire. We just hope everyone's out. They haven't got it contained at the moment. It is starting to spread. The wind's going to pick up. It's going to start licking onto some other buildings. We want to throw our lines and get out into the water. If the wind changes, we get hot ash throwing onto the ship. That is not good news. Uh, we've got a little bit of weather, should we say. Not particularly good weather either, and we're heading into the eye of the storm, quite literally. <laughs> well, that woke me up. I'm not superstitious, but it's as if someone somewhere is saying, you mortals need to get back in your box. Right, let's go and have a look at how everyone's doing, how the prep's going. These guys are trying to sort out uh, the subs so we're ready for our first dives. Let me introduce you to Oliver Steeds, mission director for Necton Mission, the man who, without whom, none, none of this would have happened. Um, what's going on? How's it looking? Well, we are doing some of the final checks on the, uh, the submersibles, um, putting on the scientific equipment, uh, some of the filming gear. Tell us a little bit more about Necton Mission. What is it and why are we doing it? So the next mission is to explore and research the deep ocean. Um, I believe it is the most critical frontier on our planet. It's also the least known part of our, of our planet. So we've come to this extraordinary uh, crossroads, if you like, for humanity, where the deep ocean, which is the beating heart of our planet, is also the least known of our planet. What's the plan? How are you actually going to look into the deep ocean, explore it? Well, we're working from the surface to the seabed at different depths. So in the first 100 metres, uh, we're using technical divers who have got uh, the ability to be able to take samples and also do visual transects. And we've got these remarkable submersibles which are adapted with the latest scientific and filming equipment. So we can go down even further, down to 300 metres. Good luck, mate. Thanks. Let's go check in with Professor Alex Rogers. He is the chief scientist of the expedition. He's probably in one of his science containers. He is. Alex. Hi there. Hey, how's it going? What are you setting up? Uh, well, we've just finished setting up this. This is our multi-bank filtration system. The what, sorry? A multi-bank filtration system. I have a lot to learn. So we're hoping that Nacton will be a catalyst to bring together marine biologists all around the world to agree on a, a set of protocols, standard way of um, doing their sampling that means that a study done in I don't know, off the east coast of Africa will be di directly comparable to a study done, say, here off Bermuda. I can't really put today into words. It's um, really, really exciting, but there's just so many moving pieces. Uh, you've got the engineers, you've got the scientists, you've got the, the media team, everyone just absolutely frantic, buzzing with both excitement, but also just all these problems, it's, it's, it's about problem solving. It's a live expedition and I cannot wait until tomorrow when the subs are going to go in and the divers are going to go in and data is going to come out and be given to Alex and his team. Um, it's going to be a, a phenomenal month. We are going to be making a whole host of content as well that's going to be going up on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So if you're interested in all of that, please do go and find us on any of those different channels because it's going to be really quite something.